We're about to begin the ceremony. Uniform members may remain at parade rest until such time as directed otherwise. My name is Senior Chief Petty Officer Keith German, United States Navy retired, the current Director of Veteran Services for the Town of Hingham. I welcome you here today on 15 May in honor of National Peace Officers Memorial Day. I'd like to recognize some of our attendees today. State Senator Patrick O'Connor, Select Board Chair Joe Fisher, Select Board Bill Ramsey, Town Clerk Carol Falvey, Building Commissioner Mike Clancy, Assistant Town Administrator Michelle Monsoor, Deputy Chief of Police Ryan O'Shea, Deputy Chief of Police Dave Petiti, Deputy Fire Chief Lula Chance, and Deputy Dave Levinson. Today, May 15th, we honor the men and women of law enforcement who have been killed or disabled in the course of serving our communities. President John F. Kennedy signed this bill into law on October 1st, 1962, stating that each year, the President of the United States shall proclaim May 15th as National Peace Officer Memorial Day, and the calendar week of each year during such time will occur shall be called National Police Week. Police officers are the thin blue line whose sacrifices protect and serve us every day. And we pledge to support them as they risk their lives to safeguard all of ours. According to preliminary data compiled by the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, as of December 31st, 2023, a total of 136 federal, state, tribal, and local enforcement officers died in the line of duty. This is a sizable decrease of approximately 39% from the 224 officers killed in 2022. The decreased line of duty deaths for 2023 is evident in most major categories that are tracked, including another year of substantial reductions in COVID-19 related deaths. 47 officers were shot and killed in the line of duty in 2023. This represents a 25% decrease compared to the 63 officers who were shot and killed in 2022. It also represents a reduction compared to the average such death in prior decades. From 2010 through the end of 2020, an average of 53 officers were killed each year by felonious assaults involving firearms. So far this year, 42 officers have already fallen. Since 1786, when they first started to track and record such deaths, more than 23,785 law enforcement officers have met the same fate. May they of our nation's police officers and honor the fallen heroes whose ultimate sacrifice we can never repay. With that in mind, know that 136 officers died in the line of duty in 2023. That's 136 families who will never see their loved ones again. 136 departments who lost a coworker, a friend, or a mentor. 136 communities that have lost a dedicated peacekeeper. Today, we remember and honor their sacrifice. Thank you all for coming out today to show your support for our officers and remembrance of those officers who have died serving their communities. To the dedicated officers of Hingham Police Department, thank you for continuing to protect and serve this community with distinction and professionalism each and every day. Thank you, Deputy. I now call our State Senator Patrick O'Connor. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here today. This is an event that I try and make every single year uh, because of the importance of being able to recognize those in blue who have fallen in the line of duty. Uh, about uh, five and a half years ago, uh, we experienced the tragedy in Weymouth with the death of Sergeant Michael Chesna. And since that 
tragedy that happened in Weymouth, and I thank the Hingham Police and Fire Department for their response and cooperation and collaboration with the Weymouth Police during that incredibly, incredibly difficult period of time. But every year since then, I've been able to go down, whether it be in law enforcement week or during a different period of time, to Washington and see the law enforcement memorial that Keith had mentioned. And the first time that I went there, the sheer size of the book of all of the police officers who have died in the line of duty really, really struck me. And to hear that we've had another 140, 136 families that have lost a, a loved one who all they were doing was their job to literally put the uniform on, to go into their community and to serve and to make sure that there's peace. Um, one individual is too many and 136 is just absolutely tragic. My thanks and appreciation to all those men and women of the Hingham Police Department and throughout the South Shore, as well as the Fire Department who are here today in force. Uh, we live in an amazing community uh, here on the South Shore in Hingham and throughout the South Shore. And uh, my hope is that we can continue to get to a point in time in our society where that number of 136 does eventually get to zero. So thank you everybody for being here today. I now have the pleasure to introduce our newly elected chairman of the select board, Joe Fisher. I have to say, I'm selfish. I hope the book for our Hingham officers is incredibly small. I want no one who's here today to fall into that book of fallen officers. We appreciate your work. We appreciate your devotion to the town. And like our state senator has said, we salute you. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our chaplain of the day, Deputy Chief Dave Petiti. Thank you for being here, everyone. This is the prayer for police officers. Almighty God, we pray to you in heaven up above. Watch over our dear police officers and protect them with your love. Please guide them as they keep us safe both day and night and hold them firmly in your care should danger come their way. Give them true strength and courage as they serve till duty's end. And one more thing to ask, dear Lord, protect their family and their friends. Thank you. As is customary in this town, we will now have our deputy, Ryan O'Shea, and our select board representative chair, Joe Fisher, place the wreath to honor the fallen and remember the living. Gentlemen. Detail, attention, hold.
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony today. Again, I echo what everyone else has said before me. We thank you for your presence, lest we forget. Troops dismissed.